Today, I'm going to be going to my first ever football match in Malaysia. The airport, please, yeah. yeah. I'm currently with... Fergus Tierney. And your friend is... Alif Mutalib. And so you both play for the JDT second, second team, right? Team, yes. And your squad, everybody's over there, and you're yeah. flying to Kuala Lumpur today for a match. Yeah, we play Kelantan United in, uh, in, our, in the league. And a lot of my viewers will be wondering how a Scotsman like you is yeah. playing for JDT in Malaysia. Yeah. Can you just explain your story? Um, so I've been brought up basically my whole life in Malaysia and so I've never actually lived in Scotland but my mum yeah. and dad are from Scotland and yeah that's pretty much it just been in Malaysia pretty much my whole life. And what was your dad's name again? Martin Tierney. And he played for? Played for a, f played for a few teams in Scotland. Yeah. Air United mainly. Yeah. But, um, yeah. And then played in the Malaysia League as well. And um, we've just been talking about Scottish football and I mm -hmm. said to you, I wasn't expecting to talk about like Darvel oh, and East Kilbride here. Not. Do you still keep up to date with things that are happening in UK football or are you uh, just mainly focused on things here? Mainly just Malaysian football. Yeah. But I do, I do see stuff online and stuff about Scottish football. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm just a football fan, you know. Amazing. And yeah. you've lived here since you were one years old. Yeah. Born in Scotland, lived here since you were yeah. one. But you're trying to eventually play for the Malaysian national team, is that, that right? That is the plan. That's wow. the goal. That's the dream. So there's going to be a Scotsman playing for Malaysia one day. And you played for the... Under 23s, yeah. And who did you play against then? We've, I've played a few games. Okay. Um, mainly Southeast Asian teams. Yep. But, um, and would you have a message maybe for people from Scotland who might want to come and watch football in Malaysia and Southeast Asia? Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's different football. It's, uh, it's a lot more technical, a lot yep. more um, technical. It's not as, not as brute as the British football. It's not yeah, as yeah. much long ball and physical play, but I'd say it's a good watch. Amazing. Perfect, man. Right, look, I'm about to um, board my plane, but Fergus Tierney, we were just chatting for ages there off camera. I never thought I'd meet a Scottish slash Malaysian uh, football player who plays for JDT's second team. That is honestly amazing. Um, I love chatting Scottish football and all things Scotland to anybody, so just to meet up or just to <laughs> bump into someone like that um, is absolutely fascinating. We'll be uh, checking his career as the years go on. All the best to him. He's played for Malaysia under 23s. Um, his dad used to play in Scotland. What a story. Anyway, yes, we are about to board and go to Kuala Lumpur. There you go. You're welcome. I've almost finished the JDT vlog from last night. I was editing on the plane. Really quick journey. It was only about 50 minutes to fly here. Less than an hour. We literally got up and we're descending almost in no time at all. That is literally the airport there. And welcome to my tiny hotel room. Um, I booked a hotel room in the airport for today. Look at this. You can sort of book by the hour kind of thing. I'm here early checking. Well, about three hours earlier than what I need to check in. So they've charged me for an extra three hours, but it's okay. Um, I've booked in the airport because I've got to fly out in the morning to another country on um, in this adventure. So um, yes, I'm about to have a quick shower, get ready, go out. That behind me there, that door is my hotel. And look, there's the check-in, there's the lounge, and this part here. And like, I literally picked up my luggage around that corner earlier on. Um, but yeah, been editing pretty much all afternoon. Um, JDT vlog is up, but time to see the police team. It's actually, yeah, the, like there's a lot of police and army football clubs and stuff in um, in Southeast Asia. We saw Lion City Sailors. I know a lot of these teams are now professional, same with PDRM, but they were originally set up in the early days whenever they were formed for like the military or the police or whatever. But nowadays they're just like professional football clubs. Hi there, first Sam, yeah? You're alone, eh? Yes, just me. No luggage. No luggage. When I came out to Malaysia from Scotland, where I live, I didn't expect to get so many Scottish people on the videos. Obviously, I had one already today, um, and we are meeting up with another one just now. Um, a Scotsman who has lived in Kuala Lumpur, I believe, for a number of years. We're going to go to the game together tonight. Um, we have around two and a half hours until kickoff. Um, but yeah, we're going to meet for a bit of food, maybe a beer or two, and then uh, finally go and watch a football game. Alistair, you are a... Aberdeen man originally. Yes, yes. We were just talking about Inverurie Loco Works, yep, which yep. I never thought I'd do, walking the streets <laughs> of Kuala Lumpur. Some random street. Um, but how long have you lived in KL? I've been here for nearly five years. And what brought you here? Uh, a plane, no. <laughs> uh, very long story short, my older brother also lives here. 
and I came to help him with his business. Amazing. What is his business then? He teaches. He's, oh, wow. He runs a language center. Oh, so. cool. And so you teach English here? I used to. I now actually personal train. There's a load of little kids running around somewhere with Scottish it's accents. Scottish accents, okay, exactly. Cool. They, they learn the English and they get the accent for free. So. And so what do you know about football in Malaysia? It, it's not very like on your JDT video. I was just watching that on the way here. Mm -hmm. You know, apart from JDT themselves, it's not fantastically well supported yep, okay. in terms of the, the teams. And the fact that you've got two leagues as well, and it's basically the second team for most of the teams in the lower yep. leagues. Well, I strange. met a couple of <coughs> youth players mm -hmm. from JDT on the way here. Yep. When I was flying here, they were catching like the next flight to Kuala Lumpur okay. to play a game. Yeah. And they played the team we're seeing tonight. Yeah in a pre-season friendly and beat them like 5-1 or 6-1 and I asked them where do you think you'd finish in the league and one of the lads was Scottish he had lived in he was born in Scotland yeah. moved here when he was one now he plays for JDT's youth team and yeah. he's going to play for Malaysia's he, play, he plays for the Malaysian um, That's it. youth That's team it. as well so you, if you, if you, he said they'd finish about mid-table in the top league that's no their doubt. second team yeah no doubt yeah um, the national team themselves are very well supported okay yeah, yeah. The, the national stadium just south of Kuala Lumpur. Look at Jalil, is Bukit that the one? Jalil, yeah. yeah. You know, it's got 80,000 seats and yeah. you, you cannot get a ticket for a, for a national game. Wow, okay. Really They've qualified for the yeah, you know, Asian equivalent of the Euros. Yeah. yeah. They've been, they're quite like Scotland in a way and they've been very unlucky at times. Yeah. Vietnam are just a bit too strong. Okay, yeah. You know, so Vietnam Much bigger population beat, as well. Exactly, yeah. and they tend to beat them. Got some football going on. Yeah, there you go, yeah. The future stars of uh, Malaysia's football. But yeah, the amount of times I've watched a Malaysian national game. Yep. And it's always the Vietnamese that just pipped them. <sighs> no way. You know, they can beat, they play- A bogey um, team. They played Papua New Guinea. Wow, right, okay, yeah. Two weeks ago, I think, and they right. won 10-0, you know, it's ah, easy. Yeah, and then yeah. they come up against a much bigger nation like Vietnam for this area. Mm -hmm. And they, yeah, they just, they just never quite do it. So yeah, it's fair good enough. to see that they qualified. And we're going to obviously a game tonight, but beforehand we're going to go and <laughs> try and find a beer and some food. What do you think of the shirts? That is really nice. <coughs> it reminds me of a South African dog. Yeah, I bought too many shirts already in this trip. You used to live in South Africa, that's the yeah. reference there. Yeah. It's a nice top. It's actually quite nice. There we go, we're about to check in for my yeah, first ever Malaysian game. 18 countries I've seen football in now, look at that. Malaysia is country number 18. 20 ringgit, four pound, three pound, something like that. Three, four pounds, yeah. Yeah, two, two, two. Ah. two. Thank you. There you go. David Cheers, We're proper Terengganu we'll, fans we'll whip today. Whip them around our right, heads. Top one. So you've never been to the stadium before? Never been to a Malaysian uh, weekend. Okay. It feels like a big ground. I don't know if it'll be really it's, full. Uh, it's uh, like a, you know, like a council municipality ground. We've got a seventh versus eighth today. Terengganu, who we're now supporting. Yes. We've got the little scarfy. What do you call them, scarfs? I don't even know what you'd call these bits no of idea. material. <laughs> they are the away team, but they're playing PDRM, who are the police team, yeah. who are the home team here Ooh. today. What are you saying? What's the score going to be? I think, I think, I think we're going to get three goals for Terengganu. PDRM will get a goal if they're lucky. 3 1. 3 1. Can you believe I've come all the way from the UK for a mid table clash in the Malaysian Premier League? Some boys. <laughs> <laughs> ah. We've kicked off in my first ever Malaysian football game. What do you think of the stadium? What did we describe it as? Um, a mixture between. Oh, a mixture between Hamden and. Stadium. Yeah, because you've got the running track, the athletics sort of stuff, but you're also so far away, you're it feels kind of Hamdenish. So we're part of the away team, Terengganu, today, and look at the amount of people that we're with. These are all Terengganu fans. That over there, we didn't even realise they were there till they just started drumming. Is that the home team support? That must be P... Are they Terengganu? Are they PDRM? Yeah, they are. So we're Terengganu, and then even though the entrance we came in said home. Yeah. Right, so we are there now, as you can see, Kuala Lumpur, that's the city of Malaysia, and then Terengganu is that whole 
part in the northeast. So do you think there's a lot of fans here because people from Terengganu will come and work in Malaysia in uh, Kuala Lumpur? Yeah, I think you may be yeah. right for that. What are we saying here? Top bins? Half-time, nil-nil. Have I come all this way for a nil-nil mid-table clash? My name is uh, Hassan. Hassan, you are a Terengganu supporter? Yes, I am a Terengganu supporter. Why is there so many away supporters here today and not many home? The, the local people come here to work in and we always support for the Terengganu. Are they a well-supported team in the country? Yes, always, always come here and we support. We go away there. Uh, actually, for not the only, only the Klang Valley. Yeah. In, uh, Johor. Pera also yeah. on the all the, around the country. Uh, around the country, we come support. And do this. you have a English team that you like, or any teams from Europe? Do you watch European oh, football? My team for EPA Yasna. Score will be. <laughs> what are you saying? Three, three one. Three one. What do you like to think? One. one nil. I think just a one zero. One zero. One and you? What do you think the score will be? Uh, I think. Uh... I'm from England, but I live in Scotland. In Scotland. Yeah, now you're staying in, in Kalanjaya. Yeah. I'm visiting, oh, visiting. today oh, to see the football. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Do you have an English team? Uh, Do you yeah. like European football? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's your favourite team in Europe? EPL. Yeah, uh, EPL. Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah. <laughs> We've had an Arsenal fan, a Chelsea fan. <laughs> yeah. And who's your favourite Chelsea player? Uh, Kai Havertz. He's gone to Arsenal? Yeah. Oh, you must be sad. Yeah, it's so many players from Chelsea transfer, right? Yeah, I mean, it's got to be mango, surely. Yeah, two mangoes. Okay. Two mangoes, please. How do you say Terengganu? Terengganu, right? Terengganu? Uh, we've originally, we, we said it Tranung. Tranung. Okay. Tranung. Can you spell it? Can you pronounce it? How do you say it? Tranu. Tranu. Yeah. Tranu. Yeah, the originally. And yeah. have you ever won the, have you ever been champions of Malaysia before? No, not yet. Never. Yeah. But hopefully one day. Hopefully one day before I die. And who's your favourite English team? Manchester United. Yes. How's the juice, mate? It's tasty. Yes. A tasty mango. Mm. Ice mango. Refreshing. It is very refreshing. Oh, it's so nice. Oh. <laughs> you don't realise how hot it is, especially with these little bands these around our bands. head. It's like wearing a woolly hat. It's We've seen other people putting them on around the head, that's why we've done it, but they're, they're so us. hot. Oh, come on, boys. Come on, Terengganu. Go on. Go on. Oh. How's he not given that? Ivan Mamut has just come on. There he is. And he's from Croatia, we just saw, right? The last minute corner. Imagine the scenes. We've sat through over 90 sweaty minutes of a nil nil. <laughs> oh, my back's killing me. I'm standing up now. Oh, he's got his head to it again. We were just chatting about him. He's won every header, every cross has gone to him. Go on, Sonny. He's the Haiti International. Just cross it. He's won it again. He's unreal. So I'd say he's been my man of the match. He's the 22th yeah. for PDRM, the police team. And who's he played for then? He has played He's for Nigerian. Chipper United. He's played for Orlando Pirates. In a oh, yeah, on loan. One game. Free caps for Nigeria. It's been a bit of a hectic few days since I went to this football match. I think it's two days ago um, from when I'm uploading it and doing my outro for you just now. I can't believe I went all this way to Malaysia um, and obviously to other countries as well where the plan was to see a game in Malaysia and it was nil-nil. The quality of the football was terrible. There's a lot of cut um, footage that I've not been able to show you in uh, in this vlog because I didn't want to bore you with the, with the poor football but the overall experience was really good. Some of the fans I spoke to there were really cool on and off camera as well. Let me know in the comments what teams you support and I'll come back for a game on your team very, very soon. I'm in a new country just now. You may be able to guess where I am, um, but I have more 
videos planned in Asia over the next week. So make sure you subscribe as well. I'll leave a couple of videos on screen. One will be European, one will be Asian. Depending on what you like, click on one of them, check out my channel, and I'll maybe see you around here again soon. Thank you very much and goodbye.